1938 Los Angeles, the backdrop for Penny Dreadful City of Angels. The series finale centers around the Latino neighborhood of Belvedere Heights, nearby Main Street and downtown LA, each requiring considerable set extension work to broaden the scope and scale of each location and to recreate the grandeur and grit of the 1930s. Episode 10 opens with a large-scale riot on downtown LA's iconic Broadway Street. This scene was shot over a seven-day period at three separate locations. Extensive planning was key to successfully shooting and later combining a large number of cohesive elements from Universal Studios' back lot, blue screen stages at Melody Ranch, and the Broadway Street location. Full CG sets were also employed to create alleyways and streets that didn't exist at all. Many prominent buildings at our Broadway location were hidden under construction cloth, and the majority of others sadly dilapidated in graffiti ridden, which required a near full CG rebuild of the whole area. Multiple hero buildings were entirely replaced. Most others needed extensive facelifts, and modern street level shops meant replacing all storefronts including CG recreations of the shops previously established on the Universal lot. Our Belvedere Heights set was tucked in amongst stages, non-period buildings, perimeter walls and a claustrophobic landscape, opening up space for long stretches of housing, streets, trees and mountain landscapes were among the many elements that went into transforming this postage stamp into a larger space. Episode 10 is a small example of the show's diverse body of work. In all, the visual effects team completed more than 250 set extensions and more than 1,300 shots throughout the season, taking us back to 1930s Los Angeles with an array of the sights and signs of the times. Mm -hmm.